Kid Machina here, and we're here to talk about the new Machine Supremacy album. This is actually going to be a response to a friend's previous video, and we're going to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone here, so this will be that. So, the new Machine Supremacy album. It comes out officially October 19th. Pick it up. Pick it up. But, uh... As far as my personal impressions on it, now I am getting the album. I have already pre-ordered it. I will have a new shirt to wear, much like this one. I will have a new shirt to wear, and I will rock it proudly. I will, as I do with basically anything Machine Supremacy related. But, I have to be honest here. Um, I watched Crimson's video and it kind of inspired me to do this and I feel like maybe there's something with this album I'm just not getting but that kind of describes my feelings on it too because pretty much for one I consider the webography and the retail albums like two different things because I, I feel like they're two different things I feel like there's two different like for the stuff they put out for the webography tracks, they can, it's heavy, they can put out whatever they want because they're releasing it themselves, and it's not to say that they don't let loose on the albums, but there's probably more that, uh, I don't know how all this stuff works, but I would imagine that there's more you might have to hold back or do differently, and... Of course, with the retail albums, you're also trying to sell them, so there's a little more that goes into it than just a uh, site release. That being said, um, even so, I find myself enjoying it, and most of the time I can get into Machine Supremacy just like that. And I feel like with this one, I'm having a hard time doing that. I've listened to the album now four times. Uh, was originally three, but honestly, I've recorded this video a bunch of times now because I tend to ramble on. And uh, basically, I'm kind of half and half with it. I mean, from the beginning, I was kind of worried because I'm pretty sure outside of maybe other one other release, including Webography, this is the shortest album to date. And for it to be a kind of a follow-up to a view and to just end abruptly like that, I mean, I, I just I don't really know how I feel about that. I also feel that 99 should have closed the album instead of Hero. Um, as far as Hero goes, I'm going to go right back to that. There are songs that I like. There are songs that I'm kind of like shaky with, which is why I kind of have this mixed feeling of the album right now. Um, I will flat out say Pieces, I don't like it. I don't see myself like that's definitely going to be a skip for me. Uh, which it p pains me to say some of this stuff because... I really enjoy a good majority of what they do, if not all of what they do. And I know that makes me sound like a huge fanboy, but the fact of the matter is, well, I am. If I'm going to be a fanboy about something, I might as well be a fanboy about Machine Supremacy, because I love them that much. Now, let's see. Uh, Hero. It was an old track. They did it new. I don't think it's bad. But... For me, it's going to be bad. Not not in the sense that it's like horrible, I never want to listen to it, because I'm definitely going to listen to it. Hero is one of my top Machine Supremacy songs. It's up there with uh, Player One. If I had to choose which one was my absolute favorite, I really couldn't, because they're, they're both... They're both, like, really high up on my list for two completely different reasons. One is from the gamer side of me, which is where you probably possibly have seen me sit in this same exact place in this same exact room and then the other end is just well it's a very inspirational track and I, I really like it and I, I like the feel behind it I feel like when they tried to remake it that something got taken away and I think that's kind of Crimson's point where this album kind of just it's he says it started with a with a view where it started taking away from the original gritty sound or heavy sound I don't know whichever way you want to put it that Machine Supremacy was doing 
Now, I only agree to it with this to an extent, and me personally, I actually think of You is a great album, and their best work to date at that point, because I feel like each of their albums, they're, they are stepping up. And the biggest thing I'd like to say that is stepping up, and I will point out examples of that, is uh, Rob's vocals. They are definitely, uh, they have definitely progressed over time. You go back and listen to the webography stuff, and then throughout all the retail albums, I, I really feel like it's great. And uh, Battle Cry in '99 definitely show up some of his better vocal talents. Like I was actually impressed by, you know, a certain select spot in Battle Cry, and then '99 some of the tones that he hits that I just I haven't heard before, and I think it's actually really great. But again. If you go and listen to Hero, it closes out the album. I feel like it It leaves me wanting more. Or maybe it's just that I, I really... I'm used to any Machine Supremacy album, whether it's webography or a retail release, closing out with an epic finish. And I think 99 would have done that job better. Because, you know, you have the March of the Undead tracks, and on Underground Edition you have Empire. I mean, come on. That's you, you don't get much more epic than that, especially with the track leading up to Empire. Like I'm, I'm used to these epic finishes. I was let down there, but that's okay. It is what it is. You can always shuffle it around in the playlist. You don't necessarily need to listen to the album the way it was put together. But again, Hero, uh, it's two different experiences. I think you can't. If I had to put one over the other, I would still put the older one over it but it's not to say that the new one is bad because they deliver two completely different things um i feel one is more heavy and the other one is structured better but it's kind of it, it's missing a little something because i feel like well for one i can actually hear the bass in the first one and maybe this is just me but i, I can actually hear the bass in the first one i can't hear it at all in the second one so i think it's lacking that and but that's honestly kind of my view on the whole album I, I just feel like i haven't i'm still gonna listen to it like crazy because it's what i do with machine supremacy i just don't know that i'm ever gonna grasp this album like pretty much anything else i've listened to um this isn't to say it's bad it's actually really great i i love some of the sounds that come out of this album i just remember Maybe I set the bar really high for myself because I felt, in my personal opinion, that a view was amazing. And I'm kind of the guy, I don't, you know, I don't always pick up on lyrics right away, so sometimes I have to look them up. Or, you know, it takes me a bit. I'm kind of a guy who listens to the music first. And from that aspect, from a musical aspect, I feel like a view was definitely one of the best things that they have done to this day and to hear this afterwards i was let down so may maybe it's more me that my expectations were higher than i guess they should have been i mean i i couldn't say but that that's pretty much i'm starting to repeat myself now that's pretty much how i feel about this new album so there are definitely points i agree with you crimson on but there's some points where i don't but I think overall we kind of feel the same way about the album. But that being said, uh, I wouldn't try to take people away from listening to the album. It is a good album, it's just not quite what I was expecting. That is, that's pretty much all there is there. And as far as your point about introducing people to Machine Supremacy with this album, no, I wouldn't do it either. Um, if I were to personally introduce somebody to Machine Supremacy, I would choose something off Redeemer Underground, or if I'm going to choose from my biography, I would choose Fury, which is mostly instrumental, but sometimes people have a hard time getting into Machine Supremacy because of the vocals. So, especially when it comes to some of the older stuff. So, I would use one of those two albums. And if not that, you know, definitely something from A View, because it does for the very same reasons that some people critique it, that some of the songs are more pop-like. It kind of helps, you know, some of the ladies get into it. I'm not trying to be sexist there. It's just, um... What happens? 
But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I don't want to ramble on too much further. This is running on about 10, 10 minutes now. And now I'm starting to trip over my own words. So, yeah, that'll be the end of this. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. And I'm probably going to be giving the album a bunch more listens. But uh, that's pretty much my opinion as of right now. And it simply is what it is. Still going to spread the word of awesome music. I run a room dedicated to machine supremacy every Monday. So you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, like Crimson, I'm going to leave links right below. So go make sure you check out Machine Supremacy and their insane amounts of awesomeness. And you guys take care of yourselves. I will see you around. Peace.